This is an initial inspection on a Halicrafters SX24 Skyrider Defiant. This one recently came in for restoration. You see inside, looks decent. A little bit of rust on the chassis and the transformer, but all tubes are present. I see a little add-on variable capacitor that used to go to this front panel control, but that is broken. Also appears as though somebody changed the tone switch with the control instead. Other than that, she looks pretty good. Let's take a look around the back. All right, back side, first thing I noticed, power cord is dry rotted and mangled. I see somebody added a fuse holder, which is an okay thing. I believe this is the S meter zero adjust. Other than that, I don't spot any mods. So here's the inside from a different view. The lamp for the S meter it's popped out. I believe there's supposed to be a rubber grommet, so we're going to leave that hanging there. Dial cords are connected, but if you look down at the shaft on the main tuning cord, it's about ready to pop. Tuning cap looks okay, and of course we got this weird variable cap that's been added. I'm guessing that was an antenna trim adjust. All right, let's take a look underside. So now we'll take a look under the chassis. One thing to note, the bottom panel was missing when the receiver came in. So if I can get this repaired, I'll go ahead and make a new one to replace it. Everything looks pretty good. That variable cap looks like she's about ready to fall apart. So now we'll take a look over the rest of the chassis. She is full of those old, original, waxy dripper caps, as I call them. It appears as though somebody subbed in another filter cap. Obviously, the main filter cap is probably shot. And there is the wiring down there on the main power transformer. A little dead spider hanging out. Doesn't look too bad. So the next question would be, will this thing power up. So I'm going to put on a safe line cord and we'll bring this up on a Variac and see what happens. All right, here we go. Initial test of the SX24. I've connected a Halicrafters 500 ohm speaker. Of course, we have the new power cord hooked up into a Variac. So I'm going to bring this thing up really slow and watch the current on the Variac and see if she comes to life. I already have the power switch on on the front of the radio. Right now, I don't see any current flow on the Variac. That's not a good thing. I'm going to double check my connections and we'll try again. I put a jumper across the contacts on the power switch and I decided, hey, you better take a look at the fuse. And there it is. It's a 30 amp fuse. <laughs> I don't think this radio draws 30 amps, so let's put in something closer to what it should be. All right, some good news. Bringing up the Variac. That's the voltage right there going to the rectifier tube. But I'm seeing very little current flow on the Variac. So I'm wondering if the six volt lines are open because those tubes should be drawing some current. Around 60 volts applied, but still very little current. Let's check the 6 volt AC supply. Okay, I moved on one of the tubes, bringing up the power on the Variac, and yep, we've got filament supply. I think I'm going to take a look under the hood and see if anything's lighting up. So I'm applying about 90 volts, and look at there. We have the lamp illuminated so that six volts is there obviously this thing doesn't draw much current hear that or we've got smoking filaments on tubes I'm going to see if we can get anything out of it 
I'm applying about 100 volts right now. There are some signs of life. Look at there. I'm on band 4. That's probably the wrong one to test it on. So let's go down to AM broadcast. Nothing. But it could just be dirty switches and controls. And of course we know all those caps are bad. But look at there. The SX24 comes to life. Alright, clean the RF gain control, AF gain, and hit the band switch, and guess what? I have everything buttoned up because the administrators say, I have it. Uh, it's working. Again, together, recommend Pretty amazing. Even the S meter is operating. That's band 3B. So it looks like the SX24 wants to come back to life. And that's what I'm going to do for it. Alright, shut her down. I don't want to run this receiver too long with those old caps in there. If one of those shorted, it could damage that power supply. So the next step will be to recap and retest the Skyrider Defiant SX24.